Hello gamers, it's your boy Alex. Don't you want to farm Affinity while AFK? Well, don't we all, but at the very least try to make yourself useful while doing so. We know that no one likes leechers, but can you really be mad if that leecher is tripling your damage and giving you unlimited energy? I don't think so. Sadly, when you are leveling weapons in Elite Sanctuary Onslaught, you can't really do it solo or it will be way too slow. Unless your weapon has really good AoE and you are high MR etc. Meaning that you will either have to RNG your way into it and hope someone from a pub lobby will carry you or you will kidnap one of your friends and make them your slave for a while. And if you literally have zero friends, how about you join my discord, huh? What's your excuse now? I thought so. But without further ado, let's check this promised rhino build. We go full into strength. Range, duration and efficiency are pretty even. We have all these strength mods. Umbral Fiber is here just for the set bonus giving us even more strength. If you wanted absolute maximum possible, you could go triple Umbra and put Umbral Vitality instead of Amar's Hatred. But because of polarity issues, that option was not possible for me. For the Aura, we have Growing Power. If you want to Aura Forma your Rhino, you can go for Corrosive Projection instead. Going Steel Charge for extra 4 mod slots is also an option, but know that the effect of this mod is useless for this build. We got Molt Vigor for even more strength and Molt Efficiency for more duration, cause honestly I didn't find anything better. And lastly, the ability DE forgot to balance after the rework. We have Nourish. This is the thing that will give us and our teammates infinite sustain. Like I'm not exaggerating, the region is just mad. Now I have tried going even less efficiency, but one, it just sucks at the start of the round and two, there is not much else to slot, if I'm being honest. As for the Archon Shards, Rhino has very miserable maximum energy and insane energy costs, so I suggest at least a couple blue energy shards, unless you plan to use Prime Flow and secondary red shards to make your roar even stronger. The school we go for is Xenoric. It is one of the things that makes Nourish ridiculous, since you will be regening like 30 energy per second while you have it active. This build is a lot easier and better than support Nidus, to be honest. So, to use your Wellspring on a teammate that's new king, use Nourish and Roar. And that's it, just keep them up until the end of the round. You can easily level weapons till 30 in just one round. As you can see from here, your roar will be over 200% if you do everything correctly. So now with what you will pair your Rhino, you will need a nuke frame. I got two options, Serene or Mirage. Both of these builds are very similar. We can completely ignore efficiency and dump everything in range and strength. For Mirage, all you need is explosive ledger domain. Without it, this version of nuke build won't work. Serin will have a bit higher duration in case you kill the enemies too fast. You don't want to lose all your spore stacks in one second. The Archon Shards that are good for both are orange for cast speed, blue for energy, and red for strength. I won't be explaining the nuke build in depth, but I will explain briefly. So Mirage, use your 4 at the start of the round. This will clear the whole room. After that, just keep spamming your second ability. If you are feeling adventurous, you can add Empower and use an Operator ability to get even more strength on your traps. As for Serin, start with using your 1, then kill the infested enemy ASAP, this will spread the spores, keep your resonator active and use your 4 as much as Cephalon Cringe Maris allows you to. Now you learned how to level any weapon in just one round of ESO, and you are in luck. Currently there is a Plague Star event in which you can farm unlimited Forma. Now is the perfect time to make good builds. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe, maybe even leave a nice comment. I will catch you in the next one.